welcome to all here in the session of mathematics these are some basic trigonometrical formulas with the help of the super tricks you can memorize all these formulas in a few seconds how is it let us try this one is the x-axis this one is the y-axis they are intersecting at the point that is called origin with the help of the ASTC rule all the trigonometrical ratios are positive in the first quadrant sine and cosec are positive in the second quadrant whereas tan and cot are positive in the third quadrant and cos and sec are positive in the fourth quadrant again pi by 2 means 90 why 1 pi is equal to 180 180 by 2 that is 90 3 pi by 2 that is odd multiple of pi by 2 5 pi by 2 odd multiple of pi by 2 3 pi by 2 means 3 into 90 that is 270 if pi by 2 plus theta pi by 2 minus theta 3 pi by 2 plus theta 3 pi by 2 minus theta likewise in the formula given then sine will be changed into cos cos will be cha change into sine tan will be changed into cot cot will be changed into tan sec will be changed into cosec cosec will be changed into sec you see here sine pi by 2 minus theta sine will be changed into cos with the help of the ASTC rule pi by 2 minus theta it lies in the first quadrant in the first quadrant all are positive so all are positive sine change into cos cos change into sine tan change into cot all are positive pi by 2 plus theta pi by 2 plus theta means this much is pi by 2 and pi by 2 plus theta means it will lies in the second quadrant in the second quadrant sine and cosec are positive so sine is positive sine change into cos plus cos theta but cos is minus why cos is negative in the second quarter and tan also negative minus cot theta likewise 3 pi by 2 minus theta why since odd multiple 3 pi by 2 means odd multiple of pi by 2 so sine will be changed into cos and pi 3 pi by 2 minus theta means less than 270 that means it will lies in the third quadrant Th in the third quadrant tan and cot are positive that's why sine is negative minus cos theta cos is also negative only tan is plus cot theta and cot 3 pi by 2 minus theta also tan theta okay all these are negative sin change into cos cos change into sin tan change into cot but it is positive they are negative in the third quadrant now 3 pi by 2 plus theta 3 pi by 2 plus theta means it lies in the fourth quadrant in the fourth quadrant all of you know that cos and sec are positive all other trigonometrical ratios are negative so 3 pi by 2 plus theta means sin 3 pi by 2 plus theta is minus cos theta cos is positive that's why cos 3 pi by 2 plus theta is plus sin theta tan 3 pi by 2 plus theta is minus cot theta change and negative positive according to ASTC rule now what will happen if even multiple of pi by 2 are there that means 2 pi by 2 4 pi by 2 6 pi by 2 likewise given then what will happen 2 to cancel pi that is nothing but the 180 degree 4 pi by 2 means 2 pi that is 360 degree 6 pi by 2 means 3 pi that is 540 degree if given in the formula that is pi plus theta pi minus theta pi minus theta then sine will remains constant that is sine remains constant as sine cos also cos tan also tan there will be no change so sine pi minus theta will be keep it as constant that is keep it as same so sine will be sine theta and y positive pi minus theta means in which quadrant in the second quadrant so in the second quadrant sine is positive that's why plus cos pi minus theta in the second quadrant pi minus theta means 180 le less than 180 that means second quadrant second in the second quadrant cos is negative so cos is minus cos theta tan pi minus theta is tan is negative in the second quadrant tan remains constant so minus tan theta now what about sin pi plus theta sin pi plus theta means 180 plus theta greater than 180 but less than 270 that means it lies in the third quadrant in the third quadrant sin is negative cos is negative tan is positive that's why sin remains constant minus sin theta cos minus cos theta tan is plus tan theta since in the third quadrant tan is positive so now 2 pi minus theta 2 pi minus theta means 360 minus theta 360 minus theta means it will lies in the fourth quadrant in the fourth quadrant cos is positive all the other trigonometrical ratios cos and sec positive sin is negative that's why sin keep it as constant sin but negative sin part 3 pi minus 2 pi minus theta is minus sin theta cos 2 pi minus theta is cos theta tan 2 pi minus theta is minus tan theta 
again 2 pi plus theta what about 2 pi plus theta that is 360 plus theta 360 plus theta means again it lies in the first quadrant in the first quadrant all the trigonometrical ratios are positive so sin keep it as constant there will be no change sin is sin 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 theta cos cos theta tan tan theta so sin 2 pi plus theta is sin theta cos 2 pi plus theta is cos theta tan 2 pi plus theta is tan theta likewise all these 48 formulas you can keep it in your, in your memory within a few seconds okay with the help of the super tricks you can memorize all this so keep it in your memory and make it a note thank you